So it's uh, another beautiful morning here in uh, Oslo, Norway. <coughs> it has got rain out later, but I doubt it will, to be honest. Um, if anything goes by the last few days, I mean, it did rain yesterday while I was in the museum. So uh, today I'm hoping to go up to Vet Vetter viewpoint, a little walk up to the hill on the outskirts of the city. I think you get good views over uh, Oslo. I'm going to go to the ski jump. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I won't. Uh, have a look around the ski museum. And maybe, if I'm not too heavy, go on the um, zip line. Try to find uh, on the map which way I need to go. To the tram. Well, it says I'm here, but can't see any tram stops. Follow the bizarre route the map's laying out. Okay, let's go. I'll catch you on the tram. So I found what I think is the metro. Uh, it's underground. I was expecting the tram above ground, but no, it's a uh, metro, I think. So ah, this is it, Stortinget. Uh, so I think it's about a 35 minute ride on here uh, to my first stop uh, for the viewpoint and then it's on the and then I'll get back on the same line, line go a bit further for the ski museum and ski jump and zip line there is a weight limit on the zip line and I'm not the smallest of guys so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it hopefully will though long time since I've done a zip line. Well, I'm not actually sure where I'm going so I have to put you away. Uh, check my route again, figure out which way I'm going. So I figured it out and I'm going to from this down, 13 minutes platform to zoom it this way. platform one now on oh, no, line one track two frog etc take some pronouncing these do I'm not I'm getting it all wrong So westbound, track two. We're going to Frogmasteren. From Stortingel. Let's do it. <laughs>
That's me at Vetticolan. No idea how you pronounce these places. Vetticolan. Um, yeah, it's lovely train ride. It was lovely to see all the all the houses. I couldn't film much though because the train was so busy and I wasn't in a window seat. But yeah, some of the houses and the estates uh, around here are lovely. All the houses, really nice. It's a beautiful day. See a couple of, oh, I can see the uh, ski slope, the top of it. You won't be able to make it out on here, I don't think. But uh, we're going there later. There's a couple of ski slopes, actually, I can see. A smaller one and a bigger one. So yeah, let's go. I'm not sure, quite sure of the route. I'm going to have to get my phone out and double check. Uh, and get to this viewpoint, Vetticolum viewpoint. Let's go. So that's the route, only a short one, it only says 1.2 kilometres. I'm wondering if you can walk across to the ski centre afterwards. Yeah, I've, got, I've not got any maps, and uh, Google Maps doesn't seem to show, be showing any trails. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that'll be possible, but 2.4 kilometres there and back if we can't get back on the metro. Hopefully it's signposted. Yeah, I imagine it's a lovely place to live, Norway. I mean, the taxes are high, the prices are high, but I'm guessing the wages are high too. Steep, very steep. No signposts. That looks derelict up there. Check the phone. I think I'm on the right path. That first section was steep. I think it's uh, oh, more post fell over. I think it's easing up a bit now. Yeah, that was a bit of a shock. The first steep section. Mm. Again, it feels so peaceful up here.
better cool than 0.7 kilometers. No idea which way it is. Put the phone out again. I think I'm going the right way, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I shouldn't I didn't even bring a drink with me. Oh well. Lucky error. Sign up here. Not point six kilometers. It's quite a strenuous, you know. It's only a short distance. Let's get into some fitness. The fitness level is back up again a bit. Trying to get some regular walking in. Been slacking a bit recently. See at the top. It is roasting. I'm sweating buckets. Certainly glad I came earlier, not later in the day. I was pl planning on going to the ski jump first and doing this walk after but uh, but yeah I'm glad I chose to come early <coughs>
nearly there, first view. So I made up to the viewpoint, it was quite strenuous, it's quite steep and it's uh, very hot so I'm, I'm sweating buckets, just having a little rest here and I forgot to bring a drink with me, so I did uh, wonder if you could walk to the ski slope from here, but I'm not going to attempt it without any any fluids, so I'm just going to head have a rest up here, taking the view, and then head back down to the train station, get the train to the uh, ski jump. So just beautiful, beautiful views up here. Fjordo, Voslo, Fjord, the islands I went to yesterday. Over in the distance, over there, you can see all the city. <coughs> yeah, Norway is beautiful. <coughs> yeah, it wasn't uh, top of the list to come here, but I had a free flight with um, British Airways with the Avios reward scheme, and uh, Oslo was the only place I could come uh, this weekend. Uh, the only availability I've never been to Norway uh, is somewhere that I fancied coming before, but uh, the price has put me off in the past. It is quite expensive, but uh, for a short, short city break, I can handle it. Yes, that was a really nice little hike. It's only 0.9 miles to the top from the train station uh, which, I mean it's nothing but uh, it is quite steep quite strenuous in the in the heat as well, I was sweating buckets I think it's cooled down a touch now There's a couple of, well uh, it's downhill as well so nice easy 0.9 miles back to the train station To the ski jump which I would have pictured uh, just down on the video at the top there yeah there's a viewing platform at the ski jump as well so I'll get another another view from the top there on this lovely day see at the bottom I'll also I'll try and get a window seat this time on the train but uh, again it depends you never know how busy these things are going to be um, like I say it was really busy on the way didn't get a window seat, couldn't really film the passing scenery. I will try. Catch you at the bottom. Right, nearly back. Uh, one and a half miles in. One hour twenty-five. I did have quite a long rest at the top, taking in the views, just chilling out. Look at the panoramas, much easier coming down. Uh, it, is, it is still hot. Lovely day, spoiled. Lovely buildings. I think by the sounds of it, I might have just missed a Missed a train. Can't see which way it was going though. From here. Yeah, there's people sat on the other side. 
going in to Oslo and I'm going out on this side. Must have, must have missed one. Not to worry, yeah, there's people here coming over to say, oh, this has got off. Wonder how long we come, how, how often they are. Hopefully not too long. So I've just looked on Google Maps and it's a 14 minute walk to the ski museum and the ski jump that's just under a mile and I'm presuming it's going to be pretty much uphill sweating buckets again by the time I get there I really hope there's a cafe so I can get a drink when I get them parched very thirsty oh well mustn't complain it's a beautiful day Holman Colin no idea if that's how you pronounce it
Här håller vi på att se hur många som skolan då. Här. Ski museum and ski jump. I didn't do the zip line, I just had my bag with me. I would have had to come down and go back up to get my bike, so I uh, screwed that one up. But great views over Oslo, better views than the viewpoint I went to, but uh, both, both are worth doing. I think still from the viewpoint, you get a good view of, of the um, ski jump. Just looking at it, trying to figure out how to get to the bottom of the ski jump to get a picture of it uh, from the bottom. 
him and figure it out. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, it's quite early still, um, all past one. So I'm going to get the train again now, the same train line, the blue line, blue line one, I think it is. Um, and I'm going to go to Svigelen Park, which is a sculpture park. All the sculptures are in there, but over by the Svigelen. Uh, I've, I've seen it, seen pictures of it. It looks quite interesting, and it's on the on the way back to Oslo on the same train route. So you can do all these three things: the two, um, the viewpoint, the ski ski lift, uh, ski jump lift, uh, viewpoint, and Svigelen Park all on the same train line, all on the one day zone one travel pass. Uh, this side of Oslo, it's uh, all, 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 all in a similar area. Just going to scratch them off and then figure out a plan for tomorrow over an evening meal and a few beers. Hopefully, I've been spoiled with this weather. I was a bit worried because the weather app, like I say, it just, it just says rain all uh, Friday to Monday, but it's been uh, glorious, really warm, hot. It's, it's just been perfect. Can't grumble. That's me off the metro at Froem station. Just walking through a, a local neighbourhood, some big houses actually along here. On my way to Vigeland Park. So it says it's about a 20 minute walk, so I'm guessing that's about a mile. Uh, I think it may be a bit less than that, oh, but I think I've cut through a slightly different way than what uh, Google Maps is showing. Uh, so we'll see. One thing I've noticed about it here in Norway, the GPS signal seems good. My watch, uh, what track am I walking on? Um, find the signal more or less instantly, whereas in England it, it normally takes a, a good few minutes for, for it to lock onto the satellites and get a, a full signal. Here it seems to be uh, straight away. I don't know why that is, if they've got more satellite coverage or this part of the world is not too far from the UK. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure really, but yeah, it seems to be a lot better than back home. In memory of all the US forces who laid down their lives for our common cause, Norwegian war veterans. Seems a very, very well kept park. Stones. Some of these are a bit newer. Uh, 
I do seem to have found a massive graveyard. Some big houses overlooking it again over there. Here are Beagle and Spark. Let's climb over the fence then. I, uh, I was supposed to take an exit of the graveyard and I missed it and it was all fenced off. So I had to climb over the fence, otherwise it would have been a long way around. And anyway, we're here now. See some sculptures. Oh wow. I think I might have done this back to front, coming the back way. I think if I'm right, I think you might be. Might be supposed to come from the other way and end at this end, but not to worry. Ja, 
about like through um, Regland Park. <coughs> Some interesting sculptures. I'm going to find my way out, figure out the public transport back into the city. It's not too far now. And uh, get some dinner, debating. I'll probably, probably go back and have a shower first. And I think I've, I've done quite a bit of walking today, but it's sweating. Need a good bit of a refresher and clean up. Change your clothes and out for dinner, I think. And a couple of pints. See you in a bit.